Hey, McKinley. Um, can you just tell us what happened with the injury? Uh, I, I didn't get a replay in the arena here, but looked like your leg just kind of got uh, got a little smashed in a pile. And, and, and Tad told us uh, it's been something maybe you've been dealing with for a little bit. Yeah, um, this this injury happened against, well, not injury, this little nag happened against Stanford. Um, dove, on a, dove for a loose ball. Uh, one of their players landed on my knee and it's been bruised ever since then. So it's been something that I've been um, dealing with it over the last week at practice and um, just trying to trying to manage it and stay off it as much as possible. Um, been getting treatment and stuff on it. And tonight, um, one of their big guys, um, one of their, their strongest guy, um, I dove for another loose ball and he landed on my knee again and it, it went inwards. And um, it was just really sore, really stiff. Um, you know, Steve and Raleigh did a great job of, you know, helping me recover as best as I can and loss and all that good stuff. And um, adrenaline, the adrenaline helped me uh, be able to play through it, but it'll be something that'll be sore over the next week or so, so. Okay, Justin. McKinley, just, what did you guys just find yourselves talking about at halftime? I mean, with 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 you on, unable to, to play for the majority of the first half and uh, the rest of the guys managed to, to kind of hang around, if you will, turn an 18-point deficit only into seven going into halftime. And then I certainly don't need to tell you what you guys did in the second half, but what was kind of, what were the conversations like? What did you talk about at, at halftime? Uh, first of all, our bench was very huge. Um, Keyshawn played big time minutes, you know, when I went down. Uh, I, think, I thought he was huge. Um, you know, the bench was huge for us. And at halftime, we just talked about um, getting back to our defensive mindset, um, that killer instinct on defense. You know, in the second half, in the second half we had five kills. And that's who we try to base. That's what we try to base our program on, which is defense and rebounding. And uh, that's just what Coach uh, kept stressing to us, to us at halftime is um, that we can win this game. That we were right in the game. Um, I missed most of the halftime uh, preach. Um, I was seeing the Stanford doctor, but uh, the last couple minutes, um, I got to go in there, and he was just preaching defense and getting stops. And uh, once we get stops, to look at looks around. Okay, Jacob. Second half, man, you're just making. Making big shots, um, difficult shots. Just what can you say about about your will to to continue to play this game and and kind of fight through fight through stuff? Uh, this is a game I love since I was three years old. Um, you know, I told my teammates that um, obviously, you know, Steve and Raleigh and the Stanford doctor, uh, they didn't necessarily a hundred percent agree with me going back out there and playing just just in case I would have you know made it worse or you no. Know, Obviously, made, yeah, made this injury worse. But you know, I told my teammates that you know I'll play through anything to try to help help us win games. Um, you know, I, I love those guys to death. I know they love me and they have my back. So, um, just having their support, <clears throat> having my my staff support, uh, the team doctor support, you know, it meant the world. And uh, you know, I just do whatever I can to, to help this team win. And you know, I was able to play through it in the second half. Hey, Justin. McKinley, I mean, we all know the the reputation Eli has as just being a very, very strong defender. But this road trip, I mean, you look at the Washington game uh, with the blocks and the steals, and then tonight, it, it, this road trip, really, his defense has been on on display for you guys. And, I mean, just can you really not stress enough just how much of a difference maker he is, just uh, having him along the perimeter in general? I don't think it's a question on who's the def defensive player of the year in the Pac-12. Um in my eyes, it's, it's easy. It's clear as broad daylight. Um, you know, what other guards in the country you guys know that averages almost two blocks a game? Like, it's it's crazy. Um, the defense he plays on the other team's uh, best perimeter player. And he's been huge for us. You know, Eli's, he's a guy who, who doesn't care about his stats. He don't care about scoring. Um, all he cares about is locking down on defense. And that's huge for us. And um, you guys seen it tonight and the Washington game. Okay, uh, one final question from Pat Rooney. Hey, McKinley, uh, we saw the other night what happened uh, playing Washington for the second time this season, one month after you'd beaten them. You get to go home now, but what's the challenge of uh, turning around and, and playing these guys again right away? Um, trying to keep Bonton, uh, contain Bonton. You know, he had a big time, big first half. I think he had 13 points in the first half or something like that. And we, we talked about it a lot. We knew he was going to be super aggressive especially uh, the game against Utah the other night, he only had four points. And coach told us that was only the second or third time in his career that he's been under double figures. So we knew he was going to be super aggressive. And um, when we see him next week, he's going to be, it's going to be the same thing. So 
just got to figure out a way to contain him and Noah, Noah Williams, and we'll be okay.